to another enchanting episode of the American Dream. Today, we're stepping into the magical world right here in Coeur d'Alene. Our first stop, a Harry Potter-themed Airbnb, more ready than the room of requirements to meet your magical needs. Then, a step into the muggle world on a journey downtown to experience a special kind of magic, Christmas magic. I'm your host, Amanda Johnson. Let's go. Hi, welcome to Broomsticks. We received your howl. Oh, thank you so much for having us. We weren't sure if you were part of the Flute Network, so we decided to use the door. <laughs> Happy to have you. Tell me what inspired you to bring a taste of Hogwarts to Coeur d'Alene. Absolutely. Um, I was a really big reader growing up, and it was a huge part of my childhood. It's something that I really like looking back on, and it's something that I was excited to do. Um, now that I'm in property management, I thought that it would be really cool, especially for my kids, to get them excited about Harry Potter. Tell me about your favorite part of this humble abode. I would say my favorite part is probably the bedroom. I love the canopy bed. I feel like it's very unique and you wake up right next to Hedwig. And of course, the sorting hats. Oh, definitely the sorting hat. Where did you find that? A lot of things I found on Etsy. There's a lot of Potterheads out there that are (laughs) catering to the demographic of me. So, (laughs) (laughs) Have you put it on? I have, and I'm very unhappy to say that I have been placed in Slytherin, so. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, at least it means you're confident. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Tell me about the guests you've had through here already. I think um, my favorite guest group that we've had so far was an author's retreat, and they came through to get inspired, and they left just so happy. So you've had a writer's retreat. Um, you've had some different families, it sounds like, in here. Has everybody just been ecstatic about having some magic in Coeur d'Alene? Yes, I think that the Harry Potter fan base is quite large, so it's really cool and unique to have something like this close to home. And um, I think that also is kind of shown through our guests as we've had a lot of locals. Oh, really? And I, yeah, it's a nice staycation. No, that's really neat. I wouldn't have even thought that locals yeah. would have chosen to stay. Absolutely. But, you know, definitely in Coeur d'Alene, um, I feel like this is a, a unique destination then bring something maybe for date night or Absolutely. just something fun to do with day parties anything yeah definitely well that's a wrap on the deathly hallows take that voldemort that guy really just bristles my broomstick he really fires up my goblets oh this has been so much fun um going through the entire harry potter house with you and experiencing all of these memories has just been spellbinding I really look forward to your next book of enchantment. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having us. After a spellbinding experience at Broomsticks, we've taken a quick flute ride down here to downtown Coeur d'Alene, one of the most magical spots this town has to offer. From all of the twinkling lights to all of the magic, it's truly the most Christmas section of our entire town. One of my favorite things is actually the longest floating boardwalk that we're actually standing on right now. It's longer than the list of excuses a wizard makes when trying to turn in a late potion assignment. It's actually three quarters of a mile long, making it the longest floating boardwalk in the entire world. Let's take a quick tour. Ah, the twinkling lights, a sight more spellbounding than a Quidditch match in the Forbidden Forest. Having lived in multiple large cities, there is no place that does Christmas as well as Coeur d'Alene. Not only do we have Santa Cruises, where you actually get your name called off of the naughty or good list, and you take a tour around dazzling lights around Coeur d'Alene Lake, but we also have tons of shops that put up beautiful Christmas displays. There's igloos that you can actually sit in for hot cocoa or s'mores. There's never something that you can't do that's magical here in downtown Coeur d'Alene. From the Harry Potter themed world to the magical twinkling lights of Coeur d'Alene, Coeur truly brewed up a potion of holiday spirit for us today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time on The American Dream.